The 2020 presidential election was predicted to be close, and it is. Votes are still being counted, and it may be days before we know who will be the next president of the United States of America. CBS's Skylar Henry has more details from the White House. The vote counting continues today and could keep going for several more days as battleground states process a record-setting amount of votes. That's what normally happens in elections. People vote. We count the votes, and we and then there's a, there's a winner and there's a, a loser. Democratic nominee Joe Biden has pulled ahead in the upper Midwest states of Wisconsin and Michigan. Joe Biden is on track to win this election, and he will be the next president of the United States. While Pennsylvania still has about a million votes left to be counted, many of them in Democratic-friendly areas. Pennsylvania is the real key here. I think Pennsylvania could take a couple more days to count all of those ballots. A lot of them are coming from, the, from Philadelphia and the suburbs of Philadelphia. While election officials are calling for patience, President Trump is calling for a halt to the vote counting. The president tweeted this morning, last night I was leading, often solidly in many key states, then one by one, they started to magically disappear as surprise ballot dumps were counted. Very strange. Last night, he said he would fight the vote counts. We'll be going to the U.S. Supreme Court. We want all voting to stop. The Biden campaign responded, saying if the president makes good on his threat to go to court to try to prevent the proper tabulation of votes, we have legal teams standing by, ready to deploy to resist that effort. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. President Trump did not say on what grounds he would use to get the courts to stop the vote count from taking place. 